This video is to show the use of a game console, a game board that is programmed using Microsoft Make Code Arcade. And I'm using this game console because it has edge connector similar to the micro bit. And we can program both in Python and in JavaScript and in block coding. And we can download these programs to our $39 game console. And we can use it as a microprocessor, a microcontroller for Arduino type programming inputs, outputs, analog, digital, and sensing such as built in light sensor, temperature sensor, and potentiometer on the side. I'm going to turn it on and I'll show you that it also, because it's a game controller, it also prints out instructions and what the student should expect to see if different buttons are pressed and the student can write their own program to show something. In this case, the program starts by saying, write an LED value brightness based on the potentiometer. The red voltage lines and black ground lines are no different than any other breadboard in Arduino or similar type controllers, but we have a TFT screen that is 160 pixels wide by 128 pixels tall. So we now can do things like read an amount and print an amount. We can also use these white lines to output code, either analog or digital. In the description below this video, you will see this program. If you click on the program link, it will download the program to your device, phone or computer. Then you can actually read what we're doing here. The advantage is that we can have the student write information and tell the viewer, another student, what they're viewing on the um, microprocessor. Here I've written, mapped the analog resistance to zero to 8,000 ohms so that it's translated by this um, microprocessor. If I press the left arrow, it's telling what you're viewing. We think this is an advantage over the other types of microprocessors because we can use the game functions to tell what to expect, what to do, and inputs and outputs. Stay tuned for more information on this subject.